all right guys so welcome back i know we just finished this game and honestly i didn't even think myself that i was gonna be back for another video unless we had like some sort of dlc was i probably gonna do something off camera maybe i don't know but i'm doing this video because apparently we missed a really really incredible boss towards the end game portion of this series i saw this boss and i'm like dude i have to go up against this thing i've got to record it it is absolutely massive it is a two-headed dragon and it looks incredible now in addition to that i also wanted to start journey 2 just to see what that's like and obviously record it and in case some of you guys are wondering i have seen some of you guys in the comments from the last video asking me what it's like so i'm probably going to start that off and just kind of see what it does right i know for a fact some of you guys out there have not probably seen it i just learned about it and i was freaking out thank you so much for all the love and support on this series on the channel i truly appreciate it thank you for being here and as always welcome back to elden ring now one thing i wanted to say in this video is that a lot of people label millennia or whatever her name was as the hardest boss in the entire game and just basically based on my experience i think the final boss was the hardest boss in the game obviously you know it all depends on your build if you're like really really heavy into like sorcery or magic or what have you then the last boss might be easier but man that was difficult for me it really really was and i don't know i had a tough time with it i came here really quickly i'm coming here real quick to see if we have anything uh extra that we can equip or purchase we can buy all of these things um that's fine i think i'm gonna be rocking with this guy's uh with the elden lord outfit if you will so anyhow here we go we've got the full map unlocked and honestly dude when you first start off the map looks like this and you're like oh wow this map is pretty big and then you kind of zoom out a little bit and you can see a little bit of this here <laughs> then it just starts getting a little intense and uh yeah it's really nuts this game is insane so i think where we have to go is possibly actually it's not in the in that area it's all the way over here and i want to say it was around here besides the great bridge oh yes i think we've finally yep yes 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 Man, what are you doing? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm so pumped. Let me get rid of these dweebs. These guys are hella annoying. Okay, so here we go. Try luring out. So once you reach this spot once you reach this spot i think we have to look look at all the people that have died here here down required ahead and likely a strong foe i like how it says likely a strong foe no man it's it, it's a strong foe period like fuck you mean likely enemy good luck oh man this is like the mag daddy of the dragons. Or at least the ones that are alive. I know there's ones that's alive that's like immensely huge. But it's dead. Or it's in quite heavy slumber. But uh, this is it. Oh my god, dude. I'm freaking out right now. Okay. Let me uh, let me pop a flask. And right now I'm rocking with the... Uh, black knife yeah. let me yeah let's go ahead and do that i don't think we should have any issues but here we go i hope some of you at least haven't seen this so you can be like surprised just as much as i was i didn't see the fight or anything i just saw this i saw the beginning of the dragon and i was like okay i gotta go find this crap
thing is massive. Holy crap. Look at this shit. That is insane. Oh my god. The two-headed dragon. The dragon lord. I don't know what you might call him, but it's right here in the flesh. I mean, look at the arena. It looks like a coliseum, huh? This is badass, dude. Like, this is super sick. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> this guy is massive. Bro. Dragon Lord, Placidox, Placid Socks. Bro, look how cool that dragon is, bro. Look how freaking cool that shit is, dude. Yikes! So apparently, I, for whatever reason, thought that I would be able to take another one of those hits, and obviously the case was I wasn't able to. I died. I got destroyed. Here we go. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just call upon a summon. Uh, no big deal, right? And let's just hope that, yeah. Let's just, let's hope we do something. This guy's attacks are extremely difficult to avoid. Oh God, all right, hold on, let me pop a flask. Oh my god. Okay, calm down, bro. Let's let's just simmer down. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out. I gotta get out. I gotta get out. One more hit, I'm fucked. Okay. Yo, this thing is crazy, bro. man just disappeared this this is the best this is the best boss in the game bro look at this shit holy crap you know what i'm gonna pop another flask yo this thing is crazy bro this thing just teleports and yet my summon hasn't done shit there we go he swung for the fences with that uh, blood loss, but he was quite unsuccessful. And now he's gonna die on me. All right. I honestly underestimated this guy. I thought this was gonna be a quick video. Hey guys, here's a cool new boss here. Check it out. All right. Nope, that's not the case. Oh, man. Yo, that is so wild, bro. Look at that shit. <laughs> bro, I don't even care you're beating my ass. Like, this is a dope-ass fucking... Now, once you start kicking my ass a couple times, and that's when, you know, that's when I start uh, getting a little frustrated. He's dead. I guess who's dead next? Um, I'm next. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yep. Dude, I'm so fucked. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. 
see th th this is the type of boss that if you if you're a melee build it is very irritating because they fly around they, they just disappear and then you have to run to them and by the time you run to them then it's a they're already doing something else oh god what the fuck man oh i just wasted a flask what an idiot Go, 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 go! Fuck it, I guess we'll, <laughs> we'll do this instead. Damn, this guy is vicious. Instead of the critical hit, I think just hitting them like, uh, hitting him with, uh, both of us with main attack! gonna get a little crazy just just saying all right i'm gonna stay here in the middle oh yikes an attack because any second this guy can fuck me up oh he's dead he's fucking dead <laughs> oh my god dude this shit took me 50 minutes oh my god remembrance of the dragon lord let's go over here Pretty sweet. But 
What weapon is that? Is it this one? Yo, that weapon is nasty, dude. Oh my god. If you begin Journey 2, you will not be able to return to the present world of Journey 1. The Fallen Leaves. Tell a story. Now we can understand the story even better. Let me see the intro. The great Elden Ring was shattered. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. She was hard as hell, dude. Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. He's inside the tree, bro. Okay. And in the night of the Black Knives, Look at that shit. Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, Claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. <laughs> the mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. Oh, the snake guy, yes. Ricker, Riker, whatever his name was. No the Dawn. And of course her which she got destroyed by radon radon would have been a the hardest if leading to abandonment if you didn't use a steed he would have definitely the been the worst will. he's the greatest warrior of them all in my opinion the guy was crazy oh, rise now you tarnished i love how this guy's like having an dead. orgasm as he's like yet live. <laughs> narrating this oh the call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Oh. Oh. Chieftain of the Badlands. Yes. The ever brilliant gold mask. Now you Fear see all the villains, you know? The deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Othmir. The all knowing. Listen, I'm sorry. That narration is fucking awesome, dude. Even though it's just pictures and it's panning from one side to the other, but just the way that voice narrates that intro, it gives me the goosebumps. I'm sorry. It just does. And one other whom grace would again bless a tarnished of no renown oh i keep all my shit across the fog to the lands between i keep all my shit please tell me i'm the same level that would be awesome before the elden ring Ooh. I've played and this game for too many hours. The Elden Lord. Seriously, I've played it for like 90 hours already. Via Steam. On the game, it says like 80 something or something like that. Or close to 80 something. But on Steam, it says 90. I don't know why that is, but regardless, I, I've been playing this for far too much. <laughs> or far too. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, we keep all of it? Really? No stinking way. Chapel of Anticipation. It's cool because now we understand everything more. Raise the tarnished. 
Good luck. Wow, man. Oh, shoot, dude. Tough. The path be broken on certain claim. Your place is Elden Lord. Hidden path ahead. Hold on. So I'm gonna see when I started playing this game. I I didn't uh I I didn't uh I didn't have these messages because I was playing offline. So now that we're here, we're gonna get to fight this dude. Um, this first boss that you get that you go up against and I think essentially that's what the game wants you to do you It wants you to beat the game Obviously when you first start you you get killed by this guy because this is impossible or almost impossible unless you're extremely good To defeat him and then after when you do journey two Then now you can defeat him. You know what I mean? I, I think that's that's what the game intended it to be like. I don't know. That's just me hypothesizing here Who fucking knows? But I'll, I'll let my, uh, I was going to say, I'll let my summon be up. There's no way you can defeat that thing at first, but now <laughs> I am the elder Lord, bitch. You bow down to me and nobody else. You understand? Yes. Excellent. That was cool. That's pretty cool. So now we get to see what the fuck actually happens when you defeat that thing. The path that we take is normally we die and then we wake up somewhere else. If you guys remember. So now it's, it's, it's a little bit different now. Now we've got this path that leads to, I don't know where. I'm gonna go. Oh, little passage right here. Come on, man. How are you gonna give me a passage right here and not give me any sort of item? Are you insane? At least for my journey to give me something different, you know? That'd be nice. Just throw a fucking, I don't know, butterfly there or something. I wanna know what happens. Do we have to intentionally kill ourselves? Oh, motherfucker. I do feel like if this game had uh, more cutscenes like this, it would have been even better. The game to me is already like top tier, you know, but if it had more cutscenes, it would have been just, I don't know, more immersive, I guess you can say. Just a little bit more cutscenes. That's all. Is on his side. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, we meet Torrent now? We found him that. here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. I can't get that seed, right? I mean, we've already got so much. 
I don't think I can continue to get seeds or any of that crazy shit, All right? Cave of knowledge is below. Hmm. I'll start giving you the little controls. <laughs> All right, so one thing I never did, I just want to check. I just want to see until we reach the first steps. And that's it, honestly. This is really cool though. I will say this is really cool. The fact that you keep all your builds and all of that crap. That's pretty awesome. In my opinion. Oh, and we still have all of this. The only thing is we don't have uh, the, 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 the grace, the sites of grace. Huh? That's cool. See, I never, I never acquired this or I never went in here. This was the first one, but I was actually so scared to go in that I just never did it. So now we're going to do it. that I didn't come here in the beginning. I would have been so frustrated with this thing. This is horrible. Fuck no, dude. This would have sucked ass. This would have sucked so bad. Oh my goodness. My goodness oh who's that little miniature boss well, I'm sorry to break it to you partner you're dead yeah that guy would have killed me I'm sorry if you would have done this shit in the beginning of the game there is no way <laughs> man y'all stupid bro what is going on with you guys Oh god, oh it's coming back. No, that shit is so annoying. Isn't this cool though? It's like we've never seen any of this. Like, at least in my playthrough. And here we are. Would have been horrible. What? Are the bosses supposed to be harder this time around, or?
There we go. I'll finish you off in style. Yeah, I, I don't know if the enemies just get a little bit stronger according to whatever, since it's, you know, your, your journey too. But as a, as a level one, there was no way in hell I would have been able to come here. And I'm actually really fucking happy that I didn't come here. Because personally speaking, I would have not survived. sort of medallion down here i'm not sure but that's that's fine so there's that that's over and done with and then let's just get over to the first steps and fast travel to the damn uh, round table limb grave man I haven't been here in so long oh man Shit, I can't even level up yet holy smokes oh yes Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without Roasted. guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Here we are. Just want to take this guy down real quick, guys. That's it. Want my payback, man? That's that's all. You know. Just want my payback. That's it, man. Oh. you what guys we're gonna end it here um we know what happens after but i just want to say this game has been phenomenal you guys have been phenomenal and fantastic and fabulous and wonderful and every nice word of the dictionary <laughs> but uh we'll end it here because yeah that's the beginning of journey two nothing really different except you see the whole map you've got everything unlocked except your sights of grace and you still have all your weapons all your levels all your power it's actually it could be for a really really fun playthrough and you can even get even further beyond as far as levels so thank you so much for watching please let me know what souls like game should we play or souls game should we play next give me one that is not too long um is bloodborne long should i play that should i do i know you guys want me to play Sekiro or Sekiro, or whatever it's called but i don't know man i hear that's really hard and it could be long just leave me suggestions in the comments below thanks for watching i'll catch you later